Sorry. Okay, first off, I want to give like a shout out to my mom for making this mermaid type esque inspired dress. Um, this is one of the outfits that I wore to Jamaica on the cruise and yeah, I just like, this is like one of my favorite dresses that she, she crocheted and she sold the bottom. So I just want to show you guys. Okay, anyways, I just want to express and give like you guys my first expression, um, expression, <laughs> give my first impression and express my time while I was in Jamaica. So my time in Jamaica. First, we ended off in Ochos Rios and the cruise ship was docked there and we went on a tour just to see like what Jamaica looks like and like how beautiful it was. But our tour guide, his name was Mr. Brown. Like he was really cool and he was like really sweet and humble. And he said that we can treat him like family. Um, it just depends on how the trip go. And we just ended up treating him like family. He was like that distant uncle that I didn't know. So we got on a little boat and we got to see like um, my, my chickens and stuff. Um, we seen like people working outside their home um stuff like that and this is like out from the city portion of it the place that he took us was we were pretty much roaming around we got to see like a little bit of like the urban um area and whatnot and he was just telling us about um you know pretty much stuff that's here is similar there such as if weed is offered to you it's not legal if brownies are offered to you don't buy them because you're gonna be wishing for daylight. His exact words. First place that we went to, he took us to see pretty much the ocean view of where we um were, like where our cruise ship was, and it was beautiful because it's like you got to see. We got to be like in that mountain that we were coming towards, and we get to like actually see across the ocean for the first time. And on top of that, we were eating a Jamaican beef. Patty. Oh my gosh, it was so banging. So banging. The best Jamaican beef patty I've tasted in a long time. He pretty and much explained that some of the um like spices that they have there growing, people use to so like cook with or put in tea and also lemongrass. Lemongrass kind of tasted pretty good. Um he was just like telling us some about their vegeta um, vegetation, but we were seeing like a lot of people selling stuff, they want to sell stuff to us, and they just knew that you were a tourist, and we just gave off a tourist vibe. And I didn't like that because I don't like going places where I feel like I'm a tourist, and that's when people want to like you know pester you or agitate you into buying things. And I don't like that. If I want to buy something, let me come to you. And um, we also got to see this attraction while going up into the mountain. Of uh, this lady named her name her name was Big Mama. I might um, I'm insert a clip of her. Um, we also got to see this tiki guy. I guess you can call him a tiki man. He was like I feel like his headdress was beautiful. I want to insert a picture, but his creation, his artwork was beautiful, and he just looked like a tiki man. But it was full of live flowers that he created, and that was pretty cool. We also seen this young man doing a one hand back. Like, I don't know how many he did, I lost count, but it was like more than 10. He just kept going and going and going. We on our way up and down throughout the mountain. Um, after that, we were trying to meet up with my sister and her fiance. There was a beach nearby, I forgot what that beach was called. I gotta slow down, cause I gotta remember everything. It's like been <laughs> like a week since everything happened and stuff. But on our way to the beach, um, it was pretty cool. Like it was like a nice, beautiful day. It wasn't too high, it wasn't too cold and stuff like that and on our way there we were like we got we started to look at the shop that they had there and at the shop um i seen this cute outfit i'll show my mom um my stepdad and my little sister they were still walking off and me and my mom we were just so mesmerized by the clothes that we seen and next thing you know is this guy comes up his shirt said lifeguard on the back but i'm wondering what is he doing in the store why he's not on the beach and stuff so he was in the store and 
He was like, what do you want? Like, what do you want to buy? And I was like, uh, I don't know. And I was saying, I was thinking like, I don't know if I want to buy anything from here because I might find something else I want to buy. Like, um, just to start a conversation, like, okay, what should I buy? And he, the first thing he picked out was this outfit that was right in the, in the window. It was nothing but like this crop top um, shirt and it had like a racer back going on and as well as this pencil skirt and I'm like okay I'm thinking it's cute on the mannequin but the way my hips are they're not gonna like I could probably pull it off but I don't like pencil skirts I never did like pencil skirts not on me because I feel like it's too basic so but that was pretty cute on the mannequin and he was just so like come on come on you should get it you should get this outfit come on come on so I was like, uh, I don't know, I don't know, show me something else. So we went further into the store. The store is at least, I wanna say, 300 square feet, probably, or 500 square feet, I don't know. But we went further into the store and I was looking at some other stuff. He went around the table right behind me and talking to the girl that actually works there. The girl was saying, but I hear her saying to the guy that, you're a flirt and stuff and so right behind me he's right behind me saying like I know I'm a flirt I turn around and say like I know you're a flirt agreeing with both of them and I start laughing and my mom she just walks out of nowhere talking about um what's so funny and stuff so I end up telling her and she was like so you're flirting with my baby and he was like this is your baby and she's like yeah this is my baby and he was like well I'm my mama's baby and I couldn't do nothing but laugh because dude, he was funny. And I'm walking out the store trying to figure out where my little sister went. So he walks out right behind us and my mom was, um, we were, and then we seen like coconuts because she knew I've been wanting, I've been talking about a coconut the whole boat ride. And she's like, Kayla, here are the coconuts right here. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. Like I want one, I want to try it and stuff because I drink coconut water from the carton here. I want to actually drink an actual coconut from Jamaica. So I was on a mission. So she was asking the dude, like, do you know anybody that cuts coconuts and stuff? He was like, I cut coconuts. And she's like, really? And he's like, yeah. And then so, but he turns around, his shirt says lifeguard. And she didn't say anything. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It was just, it was crazy. Like the whole conversation that we had within like the 10 minutes with that boy was freaking funny. But my mom asked that we want to go on the beach and get in the water and whatnot. Couldn't get in the water, like, because we didn't have, like, a bathing suit. I just had on a crocheted outfit that my mom made. And my sister just had on some a t-shirt and some jean shorts. So, my mom asked if we wanted to, like, get on the boat ride, which was, like, a couch attached to a string attached to the boat and stuff. So, we ended up getting on that. That was crazy. Just know I ended up losing my other glasses that I normally wear in my videos. So my sister, my little sister, she knocked my glasses in the ocean and they're never gonna be found unless somebody's actually like scuba diving and just happened to come up close on some frameless glasses. So that's gone <laughs> and that's over it. But luckily I had like um, some backup spare and I've been rocking with it for like a week now. So we're good, I'm good. But the boat ride was crazy. And like the water wasn't overly salty like how it is in the states. Like the states, like the ocean water I've been into, the water is just nasty. It smells, it tastes nasty. I would rather, like that water just tasted way better in my mouth and stuff. <laughs> but <laughs> um, because we could have fell off, but we can't drown because we have on like life jackets. But we had to, I had to like pretty much get the dude to stop like the bullet stuff because my sister, she like pretty much couldn't handle it and whatnot. And she's only 18 and just trying to gather herself and get some self control she doesn't have. And I'm like, okay, the dude just stop the boat ride, whatever, let her like get her composure together. And right then, when we stopped, that's when she just doo, knocked my glasses in the water. But other than that, um, she had a good time, I had a good time, and we just ended up leaving the beach. Uh, I did get some glasses from the Jamaican store. I'm gonna show you guys those glasses. 
Do you guys like? Like these are the glasses that my mom bought me <laughs> at the convenience store in Jamaica and whew, Lord, it was just crazy. So we were on a hunt for like some glasses like right after and stuff and this is what we end up getting. But I didn't, I only use these for like, um, I wanna say 15 minutes. I was using 15 minutes because luckily my older sister she brought her glasses oh my gosh and mind you this is wednesday and we had up until saturday to leave so luckily my older sister brought her glasses and we almost have the same prescription i was grateful but right after we met up with them and i retrieved the glasses from her we all met up at um mama marley it's one of the restaurants that's there um the food was popping like I got some jerk chicken. So after we left Mama Marley, that's when Mr. Brown, our tour guide, he was still with us and my peoples, they pay for him to eat cause you know, treat them like family and stuff. And although he's still getting paid, it's like, it's, it doesn't matter. Like it's just enjoying the time with like comp the company of somebody else. After we ate there, that's when like we just departed from him and we just walked like around the, the area that we were at. Um. We end up getting another Jamaican beef patty and we still ate that right after we ate because it was still good. 